for the people who watch this video. This is a disclaimer and a warning. If this video is about politics, my opinion is blunt, to the point. I make no apologies for what I say. So, if you do not like hearing blunt and honest in the current scheme of things, stop watching that. You've been given your chance. Now that you've continued watching, let's start with the presidential debate and where we're going in this country. For the last 20 years, I can give you many examples of politicians being nothing but a bunch of paid, lying scumbags. And I'm not talking about just the presidents. I'm talking about Senate, House, anybody that is from friggin' D.C. that has been in D.C. They are all the fucking same. Last 20 years. At one point, we had double-digit inflation. We had double-digit unemployment. We had double-digit interest rates, for Christ's sakes. I mean, come on. All that goes away, slowly. 1994. This is for... When the Republicans took over, the conservatives, the, you know, oh, we're not going to spend more money than we have, people. The conservatives took over, supposedly, in 94, and we end up with the biggest government we've ever had. From shit like No Child Left Behind, which, by the way, in case you uh, think I'm leaning on the Democrats there, Ted Kennedy wrote that, just so you know. You can talk about underfunded and all that bull all you want. The fact of the matter is, we have more government now with the Republic when the Republicans were in charge than we did when the Democrats were in charge. 2006 and 2004, the Democrats sit here and spew, oh, we're going to end the Iraq war, oh, we're going to get rid of this, get rid of that, blah, you know, give programs for this shit and whatever. Nothing's changed. It's still the fucking same. We're still in Iraq. And we still got the same shit that we had when the Republicans were in charge. They can't spend. They can't balance a budget for their fucking life. So, that's just the House and the Senate. We won't even get started on the presidents. The politicians in our country are a joke. And the voting bloc... And I'm talking the 18 to d your damn dead voting block. From the time you vote to the time you die and you vote. We're the reason these same idiots keep getting elected. Year in and year out. Every two years. <laughs> or four for the president if you want to go there. <coughs> I mean, are we really this dumb that anything that we see on that fucking tube of technology right there that we are going to sit here and believe? Give me a break. Has our country gotten that stupid and that lazy that we cannot sit here and say, look at both sides of a goddamn issue? See the argument for the Democrat and see the argument for the Republicans or the liberals and the conservatives. Whatever way you want to divide the political branch. Because quite honestly, I don't see it as Democrat or Republican. I see it as the Democrats need to be bitch slapped and the Republicans need to bitch slap. Because quite honestly, they don't appeal to either side. The Democrats are for that kook fringe of like move on move on dot org or whatever the hell it is and the Republicans can't make up their mind what side of the fucking political scale they're on. The parties don't know them fucking selves. This is the problem. And we as the voting bloc 
vote these same idiots in every year. How hard is it to actually try to learn? We will only get real change in this country that Barack Obama always talks about when the populace starts being willingly moronic. Unfortunately, our populace in this country enjoys the whole ignorance is bliss. Because if it's not spoon fed to us, we don't like it. You know, if, if it requires any type of work to learn or any type of knowledge, we can't do that. Because I think you'll find that if the Founding Fathers were here now, in this time, they'd be rolling over in their fucking graves. Because quite frankly, the voting block has gotten so retardedly stupid that this would not be the same country that they fought for. Now you can talk about, oh, we have the most freedom. That's debatable. Oh, we're the most compassionate. That's debatable. Oh, we're not a welfare state. That's fucking debatable. Everything that this country stands for right the fuck now is debatable. And we do not fucking debate it. We roll over, take it up the ass, and that's it. Because DC says it's okay, so it must be right. Grow a brain, grow a pair of balls when you walk into that booth. Go in there with knowledge and not some stupid motherfucking commercial you see on TV. Now I know this is a tall order calling for, you know, intelligence when you vote. Try it. You might actually think about where you stand on any side of the political spectrum, no matter how you divide it. That's all I have to say.